Hello, I'm Mark Richmond from Chef Knives To Go, and uh, here's uh, part two of my sharpening my knife today. Um, I'm going to soak some of the stones that need soaking, the Bestin 500 and the Bester 1K, and the Suhira Rika all need at least a short soak, and with the Bestin 500, uh, even a longer soak. So I'll get that started. I have these in the sink, obviously. And Put a couple pans in, in the bottom there and I'm going to fill these up. Some people are concerned about grit contamination between stones. So if you want to keep them separate, you can use different pans. I don't really care that much. Also, I'm going to be flattening the stones. And um, some people ask me questions about whether I should flatten the stone first. And then soak the stones. Again, I don't think it matters that much, but I'm going to soak them a little bit first. Uh, a couple other stones here, the Shapton uh, 2K and the Ohira Natural do not need soaking, so they don't go in the, in the sink. So, anyways, I'm going to put my little DMT mat down here because this uh, will hold a large stone, but not a plate this size. And uh, that'll just keep it from slipping around when I'm on it. Make sure I clean it off a little bit. And then I'm going to start working these stones. Now since this one's pretty new, uh, it doesn't need much. I'm just going to chamfer the, the edges and um, flatten it a little bit just to get it started. So now to take the edges off, I just lift it up a little bit and then raise and lower it just to round it instead of just putting an extra edge on it. I'm going to do the other side. And that's it. We've got a flat stone. It's ready to go. I'll keep that flat side up just in case I forget. Same thing over and over again. Okay, that looks good to me. I'm not going to bore you with going through every one of these, but um, next step will be to uh, set up for sharpening. See you soon.